Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are looking for an extra layer of security when signing into Windows 10 and Windows 11, then just a quick video to show you how you can enable secure signing for both OSs. Now basically secure signing, what it does, um, it removes the login fields until you type a three key command. And this helps obviously prevent malware from spoofing your login screen because um, in case you're unaware, malicious code can reside in the background and spoof um, Windows 10 and Windows 11 when it comes to logging in and the login screen to capture your credentials. And uh, um, apps and programs in most cases don't have access to the three key command control alt and delete. So you can bypass um, any fake so-called login screen by using secure sign in that's activated by typing in control alt and delete. Now how we do this is we have to head over to the net PL whiz command. And if you don't know what that is, um, I'll just leave that um, down below in the description for you to copy and paste. But the easiest to head over to that is to head to your start menu, right click on your start menu button, click on run, enter N-E-T-P-L-W-R-Z. As mentioned, that command will be down below. Click on OK. And here we get to our user accounts. Now, on the user accounts dialog and menu, all you have to do is go to advanced. And you will see here, which I've already enabled, it says for added security, you can require users to press Control Alt and Delete before signing in. This guarantees that the authentic Windows sign-in screen appears, protecting the system from programs that mimic a sign-in to retrieve password info. So this is off by default. So you toggle that on, click Apply, click OK. And now you'll see if I head over to my lock screen, let's just click on Lock. You'll see now it's a bit different to the so-called standard lock screen. It's got at the top here, it's got press control, alt and delete to unlock. So that's basically the secure sign-in. So on my keyboard, control, alt, delete. And you won't see my sign-in screen because the overlay is not picked up by my screen recorder. But nonetheless, you sign in again with your PIN or your password or whatever um, facial or fingerprint you're using. And there we go. And that's just a quick way to show you how you can use secure sign-in obviously to kind of ward off any malicious code that might be wanted to get your credentials when signing into Windows. And if you want to reverse the process, you just follow the steps in this video and you uncheck that box um, in the user account uh, control, uh, the user account uh, dialog and menu. You just uncheck um, control, alt and delete. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.